Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at solving equations where you've got to expand some equations before you solve them. All right, so get straight into it. This is the question that we have. We've got x on both sides and we've got a couple of brackets here as well. So the first thing you really want to be doing is before you get started with anything is you want to get rid of those brackets. All right, to get rid of those brackets, well, we've got to expand them out first. So I've got two let me write this up first. So 2x plus 7 is minus 3x plus 1. So expanding it out, I've got 2 times x, which is 2x. And then I have 2 times positive 7, which is positive 14. And this equals negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And negative 3 times positive 1, which is negative 3. Now, now this should look a bit more familiar because this is pretty much what we talked about in the last video in this series. So basically at this point you are just rearranging things to make x as the subject and get rid of all the numbers to the other side. So what we have is 2x plus 14 equals minus 3x minus 3. So shifting negative 3x to the left hand side I'm going to get 2x plus 3x plus 14 equals minus 3. So what I have is 5x plus 14 equals minus 3. And then 5x is equal to negative 3 because positive 14 is being shifted to the side, which will make it negative 14. I have 5x equals negative 17. Therefore, x is equal to negative 17 divided by 5. And guys, sometimes your, your answers for x, they're not going to be perfect numbers, all right? It's all right if your answer is a fraction, a decimal, a recurring number. It is possible. So, you know, you can leave your answer like this. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so let's look at another example then. Now, looking at this example, we actually have quite a lot of things that's actually happening here. I mean, there's like at least three brackets. Nothing different, folks. You still got to do the same, same idea. Expand the brackets, collect your like terms, then bring x to the left-hand side and make x the subject. All right? So I'm going to start expanding this. So first up, I've got 2 times x, which is 2x. And then I have 2 times plus 7, which is plus 14. Then I'm going to look at this one here. 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And all this is equal to negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And negative 3 times positive 1, which is negative 3. So I'm going to simplify the left-hand side first so things are a bit easy. So I'm going to collect my like terms, which is 2x and 4x. That's 6x, and then 14 minus 8 is positive 6, and this is equal to minus 3x minus 3. So at this point, I need to start rearranging things. So what I have here is I'm going to look at actually this is this is what we've been doing for the last two sessions in the other two videos. So you guys should be able to do this from this point onwards. So do I really need to do this? All right, all right, I'll do it. Okay, so basically, um, what do we got? We got 6x plus 6 equals negative 3x minus 3. So I want to bring all my x's together and all the numbers to the other side. And so the first thing I'm going to move is my negative 3x. So that becomes positive 3x. And that's equal to negative 3. Now, combining my like terms on the left-hand side, I have 9x plus 6 equals negative 3. And now I need to shift the 6 to the other side, which means I have 9x equals negative 3 minus 6. So 9x equals negative 9. Therefore, x is equal to negative 9 divided by 9, which means x is equal to negative 1. And that's my final answer for this question. All right, guys, so any questions, uh, pop it in the comment section. And thank you for watching this video.